Hello everybody. For today's video, I'm going to do something a little bit different. Um, I bought these mini black canvases from Michaels. They come pre-painted, so you don't have to paint the back. This is a 4x4. Four four. And I'm going to do like a couple mandalas on here. Not just one, but like two partial mandalas. And I'm not really sure what pattern I'm going to use. I'll make it up as I go along as usual. But I just want to get a guideline of where these mandalas are going to go. So I'm just going to draw a couple lines with my compass. I'll measure these for you so you can get close to the same. And I'm going to draw one that's coming out from this side. And I'm just placing my compass right on the corner. But I want to have a guideline so I keep this pretty even. So I'm going to do the same thing over here. Go in the opposite direction. And it doesn't really matter where you put your lines. I just like to have some kind of guide there so that I know where the one's going to end and the other one's going to begin. And these, I would say, from looking at them, are about an inch apart, maybe. Let's see. Yeah, this is about an inch out this direction. And then three quarters inch here, three quarters inch, and then this one is about an inch, three quarters, three quarters. So say like an inch for these and then like three quarters of an inch out for both of these. And it doesn't matter if yours is exactly the same or not. It's just something. So I like to do like dots right on top of each other to kind of frame this in. So we'll see how this goes. Now I'm not sure what colors I'm using. I move my paints around and so I have easier access to them. So I'm just going to grab them as I go and see how this goes. And this is Sea Breeze. That's one of my favorite colors these days. I'm going to do like maybe one with all blues and greens or whatever, and then the others with pinks and purples or something. So they're more contrasting of each other. And I'm going to start out with a dot of 11 in the sea breeze color. And I'm just going to put it right in the corner here. I like these mini canvases because you can still get a regular frame and get them in it. If you buy the thicker ones that are like stretched over wood, then you have to get a shadow box to frame them in and that's way more expensive. And so, I try and use these if I'm going to do a canvas. Let's see what... Next color I'll use is this true blue color. And I'm going to go down in size. Let's go down to like a three. And now with this, I like to start with my dot in the center, if I'm going to do like circling dots. And then, because you can't go all the way around it like you would normally. So I kind of try and just keep it even. So I'm going to have five dots on this one. I don't know if you can see that very well. Let me move it up. And 
Now I'm going to stay with a number three and I'm going to put some of those sea breeze dots in between those. And now I'm going to move up in size. Let's go, that's super big. Let's go up to a number six. And I think I want to get another, I'm going to get this color. This is Citron Green. I'm using Deco Art brand, so you got to shake them. They're so much nicer than the apple barrel, but you got to make sure they're mixed. And I'm going to stick mainly over to this side for now. And work on it. And then I'll switch to the pinks and purples and go over there. Now the thing with this kind of pattern is you got to just think of it as it's going off of the page. So I'll put a little dot here. And another one over here on the edge and they're you know they'll cut off on the edge but that's okay you want it to look like it's just a mandala that's kind of laying and just cut off on the edges where it's falling off the sides so now I'm going to grab this warm white and I'm going to go down in size again Let's go down. Here I'm going to go down to a number two. And I'm going to put some little white dots in. Just in between these. Right on the edge. In the warm white color. Now I'm going to go to the number four. And this is where those lines are going to come in handy because I'm going to not walk them, but I'm going to do a row of dots in that sea breeze color on this line. So just try and keep them close together. have to turn my canvas because I can't see it so well. It's easier to see at this angle. That's what the purpose of the lines are. To keep it so that your angle stays the same. Now I think I'm going to grab some bigger dots. So I want to add some different sizes into here to give it more texture. I'm going to go really big. 
well, not super huge, but bigger. I'm going to go with the number 14, which is a pretty good size. And now for this, I'm going to go on the other side of these Seabreeze dots. And I'm going to try and position my first one right in the center. And I'm going to hug that. Just like that. And then I'm going to do one on this side. And then I'm going to do one on this side. And then I'm going to do one in between. I think I have enough room. Now, you don't have to use every one of those lines if you don't want to. I just drew them on there for guides. Now I'm going to go a smaller dot. Let's go down to oh, whatever size this is. This is the number seven. And I'm going to use the warm white. And I'm going to put dots in between what we just did. Now you're going to just pretend like you still are going around. So you got to do the edges too. Where they would be. Let's go down in size again. Let's go down to a number three. And I'm going to put some more of this citron green. I'm going to put a small dot in between these. Fill in that area a little bit. If you have room, go ahead and put them on the corners too. These you need to either frame or put on one of those little mini easels or something. So I just like to do the edge a little bit too because you're going to see it probably unless it's in the frame. Now I'm going to go, let's see, I'm gonna go to a decent size dot for that little area. Let's go down to number six and let's do this blue color again, the true blue. And I'm going to go out from those small little white dots. Put a dot right on top of the small little white one. And then I'm going to go down to a number two. And I'm going to use the warm white and I'm going to walk some dots around those blue ones we just did to bring those out a little bit. And you might not be able to fit a whole bunch of dots on those end ones and that's okay. Just do what you can.
nice part about doing a dual design like this is you can get all your first dots down and then let it dry while you do the other side and then come back and top dot. Then we got a little bit of negative space there that I think I'm going to put another dot. Let's go to like maybe the number four. And I'm trying to think of what color I'd like to have there. Maybe I'll introduce another color. Maybe I'll do yellow. Let's see. I got this lemon yellow color. Let's see what this looks like with it. And as always, I'll put a color listing in the bottom, the description. So this is lemon yellow I'm adding. I'm just going to put a dot here. Out there. Like that. And then I think I'm just going to put a dot right in the middle of these green ones, too. Bring that yellow color in more. I'm going to go with a fairly decent sized dot. Let's go with a number 8. And I'm going to do another row of those sea breeze dots on my next line that I drew. I'm going to go down to the number three and I'm going to put let's see I think the blue that true blue color I'm going to put a dot in between these dots that I just put on And it's kind of hard to see this color. But if I tap dot, just a little dot on top of it, it'll bring it out more. Okay. And then still in the number three, I think I want to put, I don't know if I want to put it. I think on the other side, I'm going to put that green color, the um, citron, in between each one of those that we just did in the sea breeze.
Can I go up to a bigger dot? Let's go with... I like that citron green. I think I'm going to stay with that. And I'm going to go all the way up to... Let's go to the number 15. And I'm going to kind of eyeball this a little bit. And try and pick the middle. I'm going to put a big dot right here. In between those. And then I'm going to skip the next one. And go to the next one. So skip a gap. So we have room to walk some dots. And try not to get them so close that they cover the other dots like I did. And on the ends, you just want to let them hang over because it'll look incomplete if you don't put one there. And then I'm going to go to the number three. And I'm going to walk some warm white dots around those. And I always do my center dot first. I don't know why, I just do. Maybe I'll just walk them one direction. I kind of like the way that's looking. And then still with the number three, I'm going to walk some of those sea breeze. Do just like I just did. Do my dot on the top. Right above that white one. And then I'll walk them down the side.
Okay. I think I'm going to go to the number five. And I'm going to put the true blue color, a dot just in between those. Right in between each one of them coming around. And I think I'm going to leave that side just the way it is and let that dry and I'll come back and add some top dots. And I, I can just eventually clear this line off. I don't need it there. Now I'm going to go to the other side and I'm going to start working on that side. So I'm going to move these colors. I'm going to use those for my top dots but I don't need them for now. And I'm going to start out with this bubblegum pink color for my center dot. And I'm going to do a really big one. And I'm going to go with the number 17. Now I've tried to hang my dots off the edge and I always end up uneven so for my center dot I always just stick it so that it all goes on to the canvas. You might have better luck with that than me but I just don't seem to have any luck when it comes to that. Now I'm going to go to, oh, I got this Wisteria, I think it's called. I can't, I think that's how it's pronounced. I'm going to use this, it's a light purple. And let's go down in size. Um, I'm going to keep it rather large. Let's go to a number six. Because I want both sides to look different. So I don't want to do small dots around it. I want to do bigger dots around it. And I always will start out with my middle one and then do the edges. And now I'm going to go to a smaller one, and I'm still going to use the same color. Let's see, maybe a four. Yeah, four should do it. Put one more down in between these. And then still using the number four, I'm going to use the warm white color again. That I'm going to incorporate in both sides. And I'm going to do, on top of the bigger dots, I'm going to use the number four and put another white dot right on top of those bigger ones. this darker purple color, the lavender. And I'm going to go with a bigger dot. Let's see what I can fit. Let's go with the 13. I'm going to put a dot here.
And I think I'm going to do one right in the center here, too. And now I'm going to go back to that pink color again and incorporate more of that. Let's go to uh, number four. I'm going to put a pink dot here and a pink dot on the other side. And then one on either side of this dark purple. And I think one on top of it too. Okay. Now I'm going to introduce another color. Let's go with this. What is this? Royal Fuchsia. Let's see, what do I want to do? Let's go with number seven. In the Royal Fuchsia, I'm going to do a dot right there and a dot right here on top of that other purple. And then I'm going to do a dot on either side of this light pink one on the top. And one more on top here. Okay, now with the number seven, I'm going to walk some dots, well not walk dots, but dots. So they're all the same. And I'm going to go on this line right here and just walk a row right on that line. All right. Uh, let's see. Let's go down to number four. I'm going to use the warm white still. And I'm going to put a dot in between those two pink dots on both sides. And a dot in between those two pink dots. And then I'm going to go up in size. Let's go <laughs> to the number eight. And I'm going to put a dot on this edge and a dot on this edge. Going to go down to the number four again. And I'm going to do in that royal fuchsia with the number four, and I'm going to do two dots. 
coming out from the royal fuchsia one on both sides here like that. And I'm going to up to let's see number eight and I'm going to use that light pink color and I'm going to do a dot right on the end of those fuchsia ones we just did like that Then I'm going to go down to the number three. And I'm going to walk some dots around those light pink ones we just did. And I'm going to use that light purple color, which is that wisteria. My goal in this is really just to make these two these two mandalas look totally different from each other. At least that's my goal. So now I'm going to take that darker purple, that lavender, and I'm going to walk dots. Well, from the bottom stem, I'm going to do just like a few dots. So maybe one, two, maybe four dots on both sides because I'm not going to be able to fit them on the, on this one over here and so I want to keep them rather even looking okay Now I need something over in this area more, and I think I want it to have some pink. So let's go to, oh, what number is this? Number six. And I'm using this, that light bubblegum pink, and I'm just going to put a dot in the center over here. And a dot in the center over here. Just to fill it in a little bit. And then with the number four, still with pink, I'm going to put a center dot here, and then one on either side of it that's up just a little bit, like that. Well, I think I'm going to leave that negative space in there because when I tap down, it'll look better. Now, I'm going to take that Royal Fuchsia, still with the number four, and I'm going to put a dot in between these white ones. And this one I kind of left wide open, so I'm going to make this one enclosed. So I think I'm going to take the pink 
and just walk a line of dots around there. But I'm going to do it fairly large. Let's go with the number 11. And I always just start in the middle because then I keep kind of the same amount of dots on either side. I just try and keep my spacing even. Okay. Now I'm going to go down in size. Let's go down. Not super down. Let's go down to an eight. And I'm going to use that lavender, the darker purple. And I'm going to put a dot in between the pink ones we just did. And then I'm going to go smaller yet. Let's go to number five. And I'm going to do the off white in between those. I'm going to say both of those mandalas, the bases, are done. I'm going to go in and top dot now. So I'm going to turn back to the other side because that's pretty much dry. And that, let's go to, oh, what number do I want? I'm going to do these big ones first. I'm going to go with the number nine. And I'm going to use that true blue color. And I'm going to down on these big green ones. I still can use the number nine on down these two. Okay. 
Yeah. For these blue ones over here, I'm going to use probably the white. Number three with the off white or the warm white. And I'm going to do these other blue ones here, still with the number three. And then I'm going to use a sea breeze color on these white ones, and I still, I'm going to use the number three on those too. I think I'm going to go up to the number four and I'm going to use that green color, citron green, and I'm going to dot those sea breeze ones. Now these yellow ones are not very filled in, so I'm just going to go over the top of them again. But it's the same number that I used last time. I'm just going to read down on top of them. Because they're kind of transparent. Tap down on these. Let's go down to a number three. And the citron green. I'm going to put the white just so it stands out more. size to a number oh number six and I'm going to do that citron green on top of this center one And I think that side's doing pretty good for top dots. I'd like to go in and put another one on those bigger ones yet. Yeah. They're still wet, so I'm going to flip to the other side again. And this isn't completely dry either. 
So I'm not going to be able to do all of them right this second. Let's see. I'm going to go with the number five still. And I'm going to do a light pink on those. These darker pink ones right in here with a royal fuchsia. And the bigger ones. There's a couple smaller ones in there that this will be too big for. Okay. I'm going to go down to number three. And I'm still going to use the pink. I'm going to dot. If you do the... No, I didn't. Oh, yeah. If you do this one and then the next one, like, walk it, it will be a little less paint on that smaller one. And then I'm going to do these two with the pink. Okay, and I'm still going to use number three, I think. I don't know, maybe I'll go up to the four. I'll go up to the four. And I'm going to use lavender on these white ones. going to use warm white still with the number four and these pink ones right here and on these pink ones right there and still with the number four I'm going to use the lavender and I'm going to hit these and put the darker lavender on that lighter one, just on the three bigger ones. And then I'm going to go down to a number two. do the other ones that I didn't that I skipped because they were too small and I think I'm going to do these white ones too with that lavender color going to use number two and lavender and do these white ones down here too that are that smaller size 
Not the two on the edges because those are bigger. Let's get a bigger one and do those. Let's see. And let's go number five. Go with the number five. And do the lavender in those too. Okay. Now I'm going to go up to the number six. And I'm going to do... Let's do the darker pink that Royal Fuchsia I'm going to do in these lighter pinks on this edge. Still with the number six, I think I'm going to put white, that warm white, in these big purple ones. Let's go with the number 11 and I'm going to do the darker pink which is the royal fuchsia on top of this pink one, the main center pink one. And let's see what size I need for this. Um, Number four. Yep, let's go number four. And I'm going to do that wisteria color, which is the lighter purple and the darker purple that we haven't dotted yet. This line. go. And now I'm going to flip back over to the other side because I wanted to add more dots. And I think I'm going to stay with the number four. And I'm going to put, oh, I'm going to use the yellow. I'm going to top dot on all those big blue dots. Bring that yellow into it a little bit more.
there. Now, let's see. If I can, I don't know if I can rub this off. The only problem with this is I didn't paint this this black. And normally I would go and I'd paint over that line. But I didn't paint this canvas. It came this way. So I'm not sure what it would look like if I painted over it. But I may have to. get some of these. We just top dotted so I gotta be careful that I don't smear them. Like I just did right there. I just set it and then I just did it. It's okay. I got it. I got to put another purple dot there because I just took it off. There we go. Oh, that wasn't even purple. That was white. Oh no. Yes, it was white. Ay, ay, ay. Take that off. Let's see if I could do this right this time. Oh, better. Okay, and then what I like to do is just fill in the background with a neutral color. And I normally would use white, but I got white going right to the edges there on both sides. What color could I use that could go with both of those? Maybe a tan? Or this buttermilk color? Oh, I'm just going to try with the warm white. What the heck? What's the worst that's going to happen? Doesn't look good? Okay. So what I do is I just get a fairly decent sized dot and I'm not going to put my dots, my numbers down right now because I'm going to be switching real often and this does not matter. I've got a number nine and I'm just going to do random dots all over. This does not matter what sizes you use. I start out with the biggest number that I think I want to have and then I go down in size. So I got quite a few of those. So now I'm going to go down. Let's go to, no, this is the number six. And I'm just doing random dots just to fill in between the two of these. And you don't have to do this. You can leave this just blank in between. Or you could do a nice border that ripples out or whatever you want to accent between the different mandalas. I just like to fill up the negative space a little bit in between them. So now I'm going to go down. Let's go down to number four. 
and just place more dots wherever. I try and stay out of the shapes of the mandalas on the sides because you don't want to throw the patterns off of those. This is just to add something between them. You could do anything. I mean, you could do all sorts of different colors or whatever you wanted. I just think it's rather distracting if you use a whole bunch of colors here when you have the whole bunch of colors in the mandalas on the sides. But if you did like a more limited palette on your mandalas, then you could do a bigger range of color here. It's up to you. I like to get it pretty full. Okay. I'll go down smaller yet. I'll go down to the number two. And I think I'm going to call it done. So, I hope you like it. This one's a lot of work. I've done this on a bigger canvas and it took me days. But I think this one turned out cute. Talk to you soon. Bye for now.